Okay, let me read Western Mass's comment here. pH correction and temperature plus October application of slow and fast release nitrogen. I appreciate your insight. So I guess the question is, what do I think about fast and slow release applications in October? Plus a pH correction, I guess. I, I don't know what your pH is. I will say in general, pH corrections are oversold. Unless you, if you're anywhere in the sixes, pH corrections are probably a waste of your money. Okay. The, the, the question you have to ask is, are you actually going to see an agronomic response, a turf grass response to a pH correction when your pH is already in the sixes somewhere? The likelihood is extremely low that you would. Now, if your pH is in, in the sevens or the fives, your likelihood of seeing a beneficial response to pH, pH correction grows. It's increased because you're getting further and further away from, you know, the happy Goldilocks zone of six, three or six, five, right? Um, so it all depends on your, what your, your initial pH is Western mass turf. And it depends on what a turf like turf grass looks at that pH. I mean, I don't even know what my soil pH is on my lawn. I don't care what it look what it is because my turf looks fine. If there was some strange thing or some odd situation comes up, then I might look at it, but I've, ne I've never once taken a soil test on any of my home lawns. I don't even know what the pH of my soil was in Florida. I have no clue. I don't know what it is here. I, I, I can guess it's probably in the low sixes, but I have no idea. So unless your pH is low and you have a turf grass issue, you know, I wouldn't worry about it a whole lot unless you're way down low or way up high. If you're in the nines or you're in the fours and that's, you know, very likely a, I mean, you very likely would see a response to doing something. And when you're that extreme, but <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Western master says 4.5. Okay. There you go. So at that, that low pH, um, you know, again, I, I, I hesitate to do anything unless I know what the turf looks like first. Okay. Western mass. I mean, I, I would, you know, if the turf looks fine, the turf looks fine, but at four or five, the chances are pretty good. You're going to see a beneficial response from the application of lime to, to get that up a little closer to the, the six range. Okay. But, um, I am, if you don't know by now, I want to make sure it's clear. I do not chase numbers. I chase turf. Okay. That's what I chase. I don't chase soil. I don't chase soil numbers. I, I chase turf grass. That's what I want to see. And so regardless of what number you want to look at, you want to throw a soil sample up or whatever you want to do. That's all good. Those are all valuable in some cases, but all of that is secondary to what the turf looks like. What, how is it performing? How is it growing? You know, that's what we're selling our, our, that's what's pumping the system. You know, that's what's paying off our mortgages. That's what's, you know, <laughs> we have to keep the turf grass looking good. And I understand the risks get high down there, low in pHs and the risk gets high. I understand the risk stuff. I get that. And like I said, at four or five, you got a pretty good, you're an extremely good risk of having some problems at that low, but you know, I, I would like to know what the turf looks like before I really start really, you know, changing, changing stuff up. If you have problems, then let's talk about it. If you don't have problems, then that would be problem something I would, I would say, Hey, keep an eye on this. You might want to move that up a little bit, but, um, I, I do not chase numbers and I don't, I don't want to condone or in any way, um, um, give the appearance that chasing numbers is, is appropriate. Okay. That we do not want to do that. Um, we want to be aware of some numbers, but just, um, doing phosphorus for phosphorus numbers and potassium for potassium numbers and pH for pH numbers is secondary to the, what the turf quality is and the turf performance is. It should be used as a means to result in turf grass quality or, or performance or something like that. Okay.